What's going on y'all, Ruiz Entertainment here, and if you haven't heard, the finals open beta took place a few weeks ago. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I even made a video talking about my first impressions and even streamed it a few times. Be sure to check me out on Twitch at Restrax, link in the description box below. But just because I have fun doesn't mean that the game is without a few things that can be improved. So today, we're going to be going over the top four things that I think the finals needs to fix and or add to continue its successful launch. But before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Now that the intro's out the way, let's head into number one. Number one, improve the anti-cheat. Now, this isn't something that I personally have ran into during my gameplay, but a lot of people who dislike the game in the comments and some content creators I follow uh, were mainly put off by the cheaters. Like, that was the biggest gripe from like people across the board. It's 2023, there's no reason that cheaters should still be that big of a problem with any title. However, I have seen them focus on this in the open beta in one of their first like big patches for the game. So the good news is they are listening to community and working resolving the issue. This is a good sign and a green flag because sometimes game developers don't even listen to the community and try to act like they know exactly what to do, even though they're making a product for other people to enjoy. And usually this results into them just not really hearing the community out. So it's good to see that the developers of the finals are already listening to their players in the beta and trying their best to resolve their major concerns and gripes. But yeah, just fix the anti-cheat, beef it up, because again, there was a good portion of people that complained about it, but me and a lot of people, I say majority of people did not really have an issue with cheaters so uh it just you know just some polishing with the anti-cheat and they should be good on this one number two decrease the time to kill across the board now obviously i know the light class you know has the least amount of health so it doesn't take that much to kill them but even with the medium and heavy classes it takes entirely too long to kill somebody the game is super fast paced you're running around you're blowing stuff up you're trying to defend the objective um it, it is like almost impossible to down either the medium class or the heavy class in just like a single clip. It takes forever. The heavy class, I can kind of understand because they move slower and they have to get in close to use a lot of their abilities, but like it still takes a pretty long time to kill them. So I think the medium class needs to be nerfed slightly. I think the heavy class health needs to be nerfed slightly as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like the time to kill is a little bit too long for a game that is trying to be fast paced. And yeah, that, that's also an easy fix. Number three, improve internet stability. And before you guys say anything, this is my internet speed and I also use the ethernet connection. So there's no reason why I should be having any sort of connection issues. So it's definitely something that the game did. I remember during one of my gameplay sessions, they have this tournament mode where it's like a bracket and there's like different matches going on in the bracket. And once you win your match, you advance to the next stage of the bracket. Now, obviously I expect to be waiting for about like a minute or two, but most of these games, the way they're set up, like it takes 15 minutes for a full match, maybe an extra minute or two if it goes into overtime during that match. So I expect it to be like a minute, maybe two before, but I was waiting for like 15 minutes to head to advance to the next stage. And I was like, is the game broken? I still saw the loading screen icon moving and all this stuff, but like the match wasn't loading. So I just quit the game and restarted it so I could just hop into a new one. And I got banned for it. And I'm like, that's not my fault that the game didn't work or the internet lagged out because, or the connection wasn't good enough. Like I shouldn't be punished for that. And along with improving inner stability, uh, another thing that I wish games did, especially if you have, I understand people rage, but some people turn their system off, some people unplug their monitor or their computer, or just flat out just quit the game. I understand there are those people, but there are also a good portion of people I feel like that they don't rage quit, but something just happened that was outside of their control. Maybe the power went out, maybe the internet connection uh, lagged out for a minute, uh, maybe the game itself is just not working and they have to restart it to run. Like, I feel like there should be a way to like not punish players who have issues that are outside of the control. And I wish more games would do that. So it's not really a shot at the developers or the people who make the finals, but I just wish that was something that uh, a lot of multiplayer competitively, uh, a lot of competitive multiplayer based games would do like if it's outside of your control you shouldn't be punished but yeah back to the main point improve internet stability like especially like i know this is something that i've had and other people have had and this along with the cheaters definitely needs to get fixed but again i think this is another easy fix 
And last but not least, number four. And some of you guys might think this is a hot take or just maybe just don't think this is necessary, but I personally would like to see this. And number four is they need to add in some more game modes. So yes, I understand this is an objective-based shooter. These people created Battlefield. Like there, that's the whole premise and like the whole appeal of a game like Battlefield or Call of Duty. It's more objective-based. It's not just about getting the most kills, but it would be nice to see some traditional FPS modes just added. I mean, Apex Legends tried this out. Um, other battle royales tried out uh, just having a team deathmatch mode because it's just fun just to like play around with the guns and the different weapons and test them against enemies and stuff. It'd be really cool. And also, these are the creators of Battlefield. There are multiple objective based modes in the Battlefield franchise. And honestly, in a game that's kind of taking the FPS market by storm, not only do you already have kind of like an original unique game mode with like the with like the, the cash in cash out system, like the whole objective of the game is just to like pretty much deposit cash and defend it so nobody steals your money. Like if you add in some more game modes, you're gonna have, I won't say a chokehold on the FPS market, but like you're gonna have a lot of people coming to your games because people are shitting on Call of Duty, bro. Like a lot of people are kind of fed up with a lot of these major titles and looking for something new. So if you're able to like, at the core of your game, you already have like a unique game mode, but if you add in something familiar for players that are just fans of FPS in general, you'll invite, you'll attract a lot more people to play your game. And I think it would just be fun. It would be fun and it'd be good for the success of this game. But yeah, these are the top four things that I think the finals needs to fix. Um, it's a really great game. And again, these aren't anything major. It's more polishing and that's what the beta is for. Like they had the beta, now they're just taking player feedback. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with some of my points? Do you think you need to add in all the things that I talked about? Or is there something that you feel like I left out? Feel free to let me know in the comment section. And like I said, there are listening to the community and I'm not a big YouTuber or anything, but like they have people that like scan through, you know, uh, content creation and people playing the game and they are trying to look for feedback so any any sort of feedback you can give them just leave them in the comment section not only does it help my engagement but like it could help the success of the game because i really like this game and i'm tired of battle royales i'm tired of call of duty bro i want a new fps to play that's fun and it's a free-to-play game so let's let's try to let's try to help this game succeed bro it's, it's a really fun game uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. If you made it this far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helps me out. But, but yeah, in conclusion, the open beta was a success for this game, and I'm pretty excited and optimistic about the full release. I cannot wait. But while you and I are waiting for the release, feel free to check out the rest of my content in the meantime. I make this really cool series called Steam Hidden Gems where I check out underrated games on Steam that don't break the bank that you should check out. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.